hello guys you are all welcome back to my youtube channel today we want to find the possible value of x given that you have sine x multiplied by cos x equals tan x then what will be the value of x so now let's have it to the solution now from the above we have sin x, then multiply by cos x equals tan of x. But mind you that in trigonometry, we had tan x to be equals sin of x divided by cos x. So by putting it here, this implies that we are going to have sine x, then multiply by cos x to be equals. Instead of tan x, we replace it with this. Sine of x divided by cos of x. Now, the next thing is we want to eliminate this cos x. So by multiplying through by cos x, so this implies that we are going to have something as this cos x, then open the bracket, write this one, sin x dot cos x as the left hand side equals sin x divided by cos x all in bracket again then multiply by cos x when we multiply two by cos x so this we cancel this this implies we have this times this we have sin x dot cos x dot cos x Obviously, this we cancel this, we only have sine x. Now, the next thing we can do is saying by saying we have sine x, cos x multiplied by cos x, we have it to be cos square x equals sine of x. So, now from here, guys. Let's take this to this side. Or let us have, let us take the whole of this to this side. So we have here to be, by taking, by writing this one first, sine of x minus sine x, then multiply by cos square x, then we should let everything to be equals zero. If everything equals zero, from here we have sine x and x in common. So this implies that we can factor it out as sine of x, then sine x divided by this, we have here to be one. Then we'll put our minus here back. The whole of this divided by this, it will have it to be cos square x. Then we will close the bracket then we should let everything to be equals zero. Now from here, let's say we have it to be case one. For case one, for this expression to be equals zero, this implies that we can have sine of x to be equals zero and Likewise, let's have it to be case 2. We can also have 1 minus cos square x to be equal to 0. Now, let's deal with case 1 first. What are we trying to say here is that for sine of x to be equal to 0, 
when we consider the four cardinal points of trigonometry, we believe that from here to here is 90. From 0 degree to 90, when you have your x to be equals 90, then we are going to have so we are going to have the value when you take sine of 90 the value we are going to have is not going to be 1 but well, the moment when you come to this point the second quadrant we have here to be 180 the moment when you take the value of x to be equals 180 so sine 180 will give us 0 and this implies that we can have sine of x to be equal sine of 180 degree plus when you also come here we have it to be 360 but in general we regard to put n such that n is a member of positive integer now in general we can have our x to be equals one eighty plus Degree sixty degree n. So we so therefore we have s to be equals from this expression we can have n to be equals pi n such that n is a member of positive integer. No matter what the value of n may be, we believe that the sign of it will give us zero. For instance, when n equals 1, we have here to be pi multiplied by 1, and this will give us 1 hit. Sine of 1 hit will give us 0. When n equals 2, we have here to be pi multiplied by 2 will be 360. Then sine of 360 will also give us 0. And that's how it goes. Now, likewise, coming down to this place, we can have, by taking this one to this side, we have cos square s to be equals 1. By taking the square root, we have x to be equals positive or negative root of 1. So this implies we have cos s equals positive or negative 1. Okay, let us now consider when cos of s equals 1. We believe that when cos s equals 1, this implies that we have our x to be equals 360n. And so, therefore, we can respect this as x equals pi n to pi n sorry to pi n such that n is a member of positive integer so finally we have our x to equals two pi n and also n can also be here from pi n. Likewise, when you also solve for the negative, we are going to get the same thing for the value of n. So if you are new here, don't find video. If you are new here and you find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. And here are the steps.
So we have 